In the previous lesson, we saw how to do some of the basic Linux command line uh, commands. We saw ls, cd, uname, and history. Let's do a couple of file-based commands. So switch back over to your Linux command line. Let's start by changing directories to our home directory, cd, space, and then hit enter. That takes us up to our home. And now let's change directories to our desktop, cd, space, d-e-s-k-t-o-p, good. And we can use the tab there. And let's um, use our ability to make a directory. Let's M-K-D-I-R. We'll make a directory called blah is fine. And if we move just a little bit here, move our window over, you'll see a folder just popped up, a new directory or folder called blah. And if I remove that with rmdir, and I hit tab, that blah folder disappears. So I might have meant to make a file called um, My Files. And we see that My Files appears over here. I can CD into My Files and do an LS. Well, it's empty right now, but that's okay. Let's say that we wanted to create a, a file in there. Well, let me clear. So I'm in my desktop, My Files. I could echo some text out to a file, echo text into uh, blah.txt, and this little greater than symbol allows me to echo something or type something into a file, and I've decided to file it, I've redirected this word text into a file called blah.txt. Well, I can use the more command to more blah.txt, and notice I just have to do b or bl tab, and it tells me that it's a, it has some text in it. In fact, if I surf up here to my my files, I can see blah.txt is in there. It'll open it up in my text editor, and there's my text. Pretty cool. So we've created a text file from the command line. So if we list now, we can see blah.txt is there. Well, let's say we didn't want to name it blah.txt. We meant to name it uh, myfile.txt. We could either copy that, so copy blah.txt to myfile.txt. Now if I ls, oh, I've got two files in there. Well, really what I wanted to do was rename, and I, I don't like myfile.txt. I'm going to I'm going to rename this file by moving it. I'm going to move the contents of my file.txt to text file.txt. Move command. Now, if I list, I have just blah and text file. Notice it didn't copy, it just moved or renamed in this case. And then if I want to remove that blah.txt, I can rm blah tab. And now I ls, and notice I've just got my one text file, .txt. Well, sometimes we want to be able to edit a text file a little more uh, easily from the command line. We can use the nano text editor. So I'll say nano text, or te tab, and I get the nano text editor. So I can start typing here, this is some text. And you can move around in here with your cursor keys. So I can move up, I can move down, I can hit enter to add more lines. This is more text. I can even type down here. And notice it does it about a page at a time. When I'm finished with my nano text editor, I want to use a command I mean a control O, and you'll see down at the bottom of the screen here it has O for write out and X for exit. So I can write this out. When I hit control O, it says file name to write, text file. I'm still inside the same text file, that's okay. If you wanted to write it as a different name, text file two, you can. Hit enter, and then do a control X to exit. Now if I more my text file, I can see the entire contents of this file on the screen. This is some text, this is some more text, I can even type down here. 
Come back up to the top of the screen. Well, when we're ready to remove that file, ls, I'll rm text file, nothing in there, cd dot dot. I'm going to rm dir, or you can do a remove dash recursive dash r. But rm dir, my files, and this will only work with an empty directory, but it's empty, so that worked. If I list, there's nothing left in desktop, and there's nothing left up on my desktop. We've seen how to create directories, remove directories, create files, uh, copy files, move files, or rename them, remove or delete files, and even use the nano text editor and uh, echo, uh, file, echo uh, text into a text file, use the nano text editor to edit that text file a little better, and then use the more command to uh, show the contents of that file. So we've already got some pretty good command line chops but we're going to keep adding on to that in the next lesson.